My 96 Nissan 240SX with the 97-98 front end JDM front bumper. Um, right now I'm putting on the head. Uh, I was by myself for a while. I would recommend you do this with a buddy or somebody that can help you out. To hold the timing chain for you while you slip the head on over that. Uh, it's a pain to do it when you're by yourself. So I'd recommend you do it with a buddy. Anyways, after I got the head on, I zip tied that to the power steering pump to keep the tension on the chain so it wouldn't slip off and I wouldn't have to worry about is the timing correct or did it fall off the sprocket, which is why I tore this down to begin with. I couldn't get it to start, so I decided to start all over. Um, I pulled the front cover off to set the timing. Now that I know that the timing chain is where it needs to be, the colored link on the chain is lined up with the dot on the timing or on the crank sprocket. So I know all that's correct. I got a new front cover, uh, front gasket or um, front main seal gasket. Did all that jazz, resealed it, blah, blah, blah. So now I'm, reseal now I'm putting on the head and I'm just going to kind of walk you guys through this. I went ahead and got ARP head studs. I've already put those in there. I just got the idea to do this video after I did this, so I don't know, maybe this helps somebody else out. If you can't hear anything or if it's dark or something, I'm sorry. I'm recording this with a, a cell phone, so the picture quality is probably not going to be that great. But anyways, I, with the ARP head studs, um, I would highly recommend you buy some of this. I'm pretty sure it comes with it, but I'm not for sure. You buy some of this ARP assembly lube. Um, it's recommended that you do it when you torque the head down or the nuts on the studs. So you get an accurate um, accurate torque. Or, uh, you know, so you know it's tight like it needs to be. Whatever. I'm sorry. I'm no master tech. I'm just kind of doing this in my front yard, whatever, at my apartment. So when you put the ARP head studs in, you just want to put the grease or lube on the bottom of the threads and drop it in. I've done all that already. Once you've dropped them all in, you want to hand tighten them. So I'm going to put the phone down for a second and I'm going to grab my tool to tighten these up and I'll show you that process. All right, we're back. This is a 316th Allen head wrench. I believe, and this is what I'm going to use to tighten down the ARP head studs. Um, you don't want them tightened down too tight, and I would highly recommend uh, or recommend you tap the threads just to clean them out. You don't want too much resistance when you're put, or putting them in hand tight. So uh, just clean those threads out before you drop the ARP head studs in, and then uh, proceed with dropping the studs in. So here's the Allen head wrench. Sorry, I don't have anybody to hold the camera, so I'm kind of you two-handed it, I guess. But you just want to turn this hand tight. Once you feel it start to resist, you just want to go to the next one. So I'm going to thread this down a little bit. Everything's going through nice and smooth. And if you're, the threads are dirty in the head or the or the block, I should say, You'll feel a lot of resistance and a lot of like, I don't know, you'll just know if it's dirty in there. Because once you're through with all of them, some of them will be, kind of be a little uneven and whatnot. But uh, if you tap the threads, like I said before, um, you'll clean them out. Alright, so that's about hand tight right there. It's about as tight as you want to get it. You don't want to over tighten it. Otherwise, you risk cracking or snapping off one of these ARP head studs, which would not be fun to take out. But anyways, there it is. It's down there hand tight. And after that one, you just want to go to the next one. You can either go here. There's no pattern. All you're doing is just getting these all hand tight. So I'm going to continue to hand tighten all these, and I will be back in a second. All right, we're back. Just to save some time, because I'm running out of daylight, I've already went ahead and did a few of them, but I left one of them off just to give you an example. It's nothing too hard or 
pretty straightforward actually. I had a little little uh, screwdriver slash magnet thingy. Uh, what you want to do is coat your your washers, your ARP washers, with ARP grease, and then just slip it over the uh, the stud. So pretty easy process. Uh, nothing hard about that. Just get it slip in there. After that, you want to take your ARP uh, nut. I don't know if you can see that or not. Pretty sure you can. Take your ARP R nut. Grease the bottom of that with the ARP grease, and then just drop those on. All right. And just slip that on over the nut. Well, if I get a drop in there. All right, I'm going to try to hold this and do this at the same time. All right, so that's all there. You want to do that for each one of the studs. After that, it's time to start torquing stuff down. I'm um, going to get all these nuts put on there, and then I'll be back. Hopefully, I'll still have enough daylight. My flashlight just died on me. Great. And I'll see you in a minute. 